Hi guys, Mark here. Hope you're all well today. Well, we have a CF Moto 650 MT today. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So guys, welcome along today to review on a CF Moto 650 MT. Kindly known to me by the nice guys at Tin Shack Motorcycles here in the south of England in Dorset. Um, I'll put the link to their website in the description below. Just check it out. Um, just run through the specifications on this amazing looking uh, mid mid-size ADV sort of sports tourer. It comes with a 650cc parallel twin. Now this is based, it's basically a Kawasaki 650 engine based on the um, ER6. So absolutely bulletproof reliable, no issues there whatsoever. 60 horsepower at 8,750 RPM. And we've got uh, 56 Newton meters of torque at 7,000 RPM. These come with Bosch, uh, fuel injection and ECU. So uh, very, very reliable. These are coming in at incredibly good value, £5,499. So the seat height on these is 840mm. Um, I'll put a quick cut scene in of me on the bike. And bear in mind, I'm not that tall. I'm 5 foot 7 with a 30 inch inside leg. These are coming in at 218 kilos, wet, ready to ride. So not too bad. Six speed gearbox on these. Really nice build quality, working around the bike. All the fixtures and fittings look lovely. Very well put together. Got a 120, 70 on the front and a 160 on the rear. And these are Metzler Road Tech tyres, so good, good choice of touring tyre for these. 18 litre fuel tank, should get at least 50 to a gallon I would have thought, out of this um, Versus 650 sort of base machine. You've got two riding modes, sport and touring, all LED lights all round, LED indicators, headlights, brake lights. So these come with crash bars as standard. And even better, they come with SHAD shad panniers as standard as well. Got an adjustable windscreen. Very nice sort of conventional LCD dash. USB 12 volt socket there. And we'll run through all the switch gear when we get on the bike. And these come in this very nice blue or white. So guys, without further ado, let's go for a test ride. So guys, welcome aboard CF Moto 650 MT. Right, so when you get on board this beautiful bike, um, it feels very, very much like the sort of Versus 650 Touring. You know, I re reviewed one of those uh, a couple of years ago, and this is pretty much the same bike. It's basically styled on that. Uh, straight away, you know, you're you greeted with very nice riding position, extremely comfortable, big plush padded seat, uh, all nice switch gear, hand guards are standard, big adjustable screen, um, really well equipped bike for the prices. I mean, these are built in, uh, made in China, but you know, you've got that bulletproof ER6 engine, so reliability, it would, I would say, is top notch on these. So very nice LCD dash there, you've got your rev counter, digital speedometer, temperature of the engine, you've got a gear indicator which is nice, odometer, clock, fuel and all your sort of um, select for your trip meter and all that sort of stuff, neutral, switch gears, very Kawasaki-esque, uh, high and low beam, horn, turn indicators, you've got your mode for um, sport and um, touring, rider modes, flasher, adjustable clutch lever which is nice, adjustable brake lever which is lovely and just basic basic switch gear really, nice little touch there with the nicer master cylinder there, that looks really nice. So fire up, straight away, 
you you know you're greeted with that lovely parallel tw twin ER6 kind of based motor very nice very smooth lots of torque at low rpm lovely so let's see how this rides so again big shout out to uh, Tin Shack Motorcycles here in the south of England check out their website link is in the description so extremely smooth clutch nice and early on the take so yeah that 650 twin instantly gives you lots of drive from low rpm and straight away we're into sixth gear here 60 miles an hour just over 4,000 revs so down to fifth for the overtake now nice and easy overtaking really good so if, if you've ever ridden a bike like a, a versus 650 or versus thousand or a big triumph tiger explorer this is the same sort of thing you know adventure style riding position very very upright nice big wide bars extremely comfortable seat I mean I've been on this bike for about an hour and this bike I'm pleased to say has got all-day comfort tires gripping really well those Metz the tires so we've got adjustable suspension up the front and adjustable rear shock and I'm pleased to say it's set up very nice as standard no sort of sudden bumps jar your fillings very very plush comfortable ride just down to third so the down change is very smooth on this gearbox as you would expect being a Kawasaki engine lots of low down pull from that 650 twin so I've got this in sport mode which doesn't give you more power it just makes the throttle response a little bit sharper and uh, all, all feels very good it's, there's no sort of jerkiness in the throttle response all very smooth and predictable so yeah from that sort of three four thousand rpm loads of pull very impressive So guys, it's just as we're just cruising along now, let's just work through the bike. So the mirrors pretty much look like Kawasaki mirrors, I'm sure they are. Very, very clear. A little bit of a view of my elbows, but nothing to worry about. Good view of the road behind. So I'm looking at the dash now. Instantly I can see everything I need to know. Current speed, nice big gear indicator, plenty of fuel. So I'm good to go. Now the riding position, as I said, it's very, very upright. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm leaning forward at all. You can adjust these handlebars by the look of it for forwards and backwards rake. But as it is, it's very, very comfortable. So I'm just going to try 30 mile an hour for the fueling, just to make sure there's no issues with any surging third gear now all very smooth obviously you can tell it's a twin you can feel those two pistons sort of thumping away beneath you but all in all very very smooth and civilized throttle response is all very good switch gear all very tactile easy to use just playing with it now yeah oh lovely so on these bikes um, service intervals are first service at about 600 miles as always and you've got three and a half thousand mile oil change service intervals and the valves I believe are at 24,000 miles on these so that's very good second gear wide open throttle five six seven yeah it goes well 
no shortage of performance with this. So the screen, I mean, we'll do some higher speeds later, but at this sort of 50 miles an hour, I can just feel the wind going over my helmet. Very nice indeed. Got the little wind deflectors down there, keeping the wind off my, my sort of side of my body. The uh, hand guards keep my hands nice and warm. So uh, it's a lovely riding position, extremely comfortable. So we'll just stick this into top gear now, see if it'll hold top at about 50 without any sort of ch chugging through the gearbox. That's all very smooth, just over 3,000 revs. Back brake feels very strong, that's good. Obviously we've got ABS on this as standard. See, I mean, I've ridden a lot of Chinese bikes lately, and um, I have to say I'm just very, very impressed, to say the least, with them. I'm sure they will become the new Japanese in the very near future. So, this is 218 kilos. Um, feels very, very stable. Doesn't feel overly heavy. Very easy to manoeuvre. So just going down the gearbox now, all feels very slick. Makes a very nice little whistle from its engine. Yeah, plenty of power there. Really winds on nicely from, from low down. So at this sort of speed, 40 miles an hour, not feeling really any vibrations of, of any consequence little tiny sort of throb through the foot pegs but just adds to the character really I say we'll take it on the dual carriageway in a bit and uh, see what it's like at higher speeds and so far guys extremely impressed with this for the money 5499 including the panniers it's um very good and I believe the warranty is two years on these Very nice indeed. So as I said before, we we're in the south of England here, county of Dorset. Traffic's rather heavy today. So we're just gonna come out of the 30 now to the de-restricted. We're in third gear. About 4,000 revs. Winding it on. Very impressive. Plenty of overtaking power. That's where the torque of that 650 comes in. So I'll put it into sixth gear now. 60 miles an hour, just to see what relaxing cruising's like on this bike. Very nice, 4,000 revs no nasty vibrations whatsoever so incredibly smooth so guys we're just going to come on to a dual carriageway now just to try out the uh, the higher speed cruising ability of this CF Moto 650 fourth gear wide open throttle 50 60 70 and it just keeps going so very impressive acceleration so we're in sixth gear now Just over the legal limit, just over 5,000 RPM. Just feeling all the vibrations through the bike, or lack of them, should we say, just seeing how stable it is. So please report, there's hardly any vibrations through the bars, that's very smooth. And there's just a tiny, tiny buzz through the foot pegs but nothing to worry about whatsoever. So six gear, wide open throttle, and it pulls and pulls. So very good um, overtaking ability from this speed. Wind blast, totally uh, acceptable. Wind noise, 
is about average, but my helmet is pretty normal, pretty noisy to be honest. But in this area here, absolutely no, no wind blast at all. I can feel it all going over my helmet. Stability-wise, five stars. No kind of nasty rocking with the bike. Feels very planted. All the mirrors are very clear. It feels very safe at this sort of speed. You could definitely sit here all day long, I would say. So we'll just drop it down to fifth, just to get the revs even higher, to see if there's any nasty tingles lurking. So we're just coming up 6,000 RPM, just past six and a half. Again, it hasn't got any worse. Nothing through the bars, and just that tiny little buzz through the foot pegs. Very, very impressive. Back to six again. Slow it down a tiny bit. Yeah, it holds its, um, holds its own at 70-ish very nicely. Doesn't feel stressed at all. It feels like it could do it all day long. So yeah, guys, five stars for the cruising ability of the 650 MT. Just down to fifth now. Wide open throttle. Yeah. Pulls exceptionally well. I'm guessing top speed on this is somewhere around 115, 120 miles an hour. So these these engines are very economical. You know, you, you probably get an average of 50 or a bit more, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could get 60 to the gallon out of it if you're just sort of cruising along like this. Just feeling what the suspension's like on these bumps. Yeah, it feels exceptionally well damped, comfortable and plush. Yeah. Right, we'll just do a brake test now, front brake only. Cool, they are really strong. Let's just try that again. Obviously we've got twin twin pedal discs on this. Yeah, very good front brakes. So the um the GT model I believe, which I'll be testing soon, has a TFT. But I say this has got the more conventional LCD dash and no problems at all with this. So yeah, you can hustle this around the bends, no problem at all. Tire, the Metz the tyres feel very short footed. Yeah, no nasty wallowing around that bend. Fifth gear, open it up up the hill. Very nice. So yeah guys, if you want to do some all-round riding, you know, touring, commuting, this is one of those jack-of-all-trades bikes for sure. It's good fun, very good value. Bulletproof reliability from the uh, engine. Excellent. Right, we'll just uh, wind it up here, guys. Let's have another look around this bike, shall we? I do you like the sound it makes? Right, let's just see what she's like into neutral. So there's your neutral, first gear with a bit of a clunk. Into neutral, very easy. So this is Euro 4. Just give you a little sound test. Very nice. Let's give you a little look at that that dash. See, so yeah, the screen's adjustable with these. It's a manual adjustment with those knobs there. All right. Nice, decent size, easy to get to side stand. I like that. All right. Just see what she's like off the side stand, guys. So you've got a nice grab rail here to hang on to. Yep. Yeah. 
easy enough to lift off the side stand. Not a lightweight by any means, but not heavy. And pretty easy to push around in your garage. So no issues there at all. Right, let's have a look around this beauty, shall we? Let me just take my gloves off. So you've got your LED projector headlight there. Big old crash bars as standard. Very nice. So you've got your petal discs, ABS, decent tyres, all the plastics, the quality of the stickers and the graphics there, the matte paint where they all looks really nicely done. So there's your sort of ER6 Kawasaki engine, totally bulletproof. It's even got the same same kind of lay down shock as the Kawasaki's have. Underslung exhaust. All this looks nicely cast. Looks almost very Honda-esque. So here's your bars. So I'll, um, I'll put a little cut scene of the uh, of the panniers for you. So you've got LED rear brake light there, LED indicators. Rear hugger, which is nice. Yeah, it all looks great, guys. Nice bodywork here. I have taken the seat off. There's nothing under there apart from battery wires and uh, ECU. So um, let's just uh, see what the fuel cap's like. All very easy. So guys, another one I'm really impressed. CF Moto 650 MT. Yours for 5499. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it, it's it's got to be a good buy. I mean, I see no no issues whatsoever. These have been, these have been around for a few years. Um, everyone seems to be pretty happy with them. So please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and this bike, and post your comments down below. And um, please uh, like, share, and subscribe as always. And I'll catch you again very shortly for another motorcycle review. This is Mark signing off, guys. Ride safe. Take care. All the best. Bye bye.